and my tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. Started to look for some food. And Monday. On Monday. He threw one apple. Good morning, you guys. We are over here repeating Hungry Caterpillar like we do all the time. Gray doesn't even need the book. He's got the whole thing memorized and recites it all the time. I have Porter here with me. Say hi, Porter. He is officially five months old now. Um, we did. Five months old, that's her height. Gray's heard me say that quite a few times, so now he says it all the time. Um, and so we did a cute little photo shoot, so I'll input some pictures of that here. Time is just going so quickly. Porter is just trying to crawl as much as he can. He scoots here and there. Mostly he just rolls if he wants to get somewhere. And then he had his first Valentine's Day, so I have a picture of that. So it's been very busy over here. We are in week three of potty training, I think. I've kind of lost track. We started on February 1st, and today is February 16th or 17th. So yeah, we're like two weeks into, two weeks. Maybe not even three weeks yet. Maybe two and a half weeks into this. Anyway, it's going okay. Um, he pees in the potty. This morning when I went and got him up from um, bed, like first thing in the morning, he was totally dry. Took him to the potty and he peed in the potty. That was the first time he's ever been dry through the night. So that was amazing. Um, pooping, he still poops on the floor. Not the best. And we can't take him anywhere because he'll just pee in his undies and his pants. But he is peeing. Um, I'll put him on the potty and he at least tries every time to pee. And usually he will pee. So that's been going well. Gray found this little hat that we got when he was a baby. That's, uh, that's the barn window. And he's decided to put it on, although it is too small for his head. <laughs> but he insists on wearing it anyway. What, Gray? Trick or treat. Trick or treat. He's still into Halloween, you guys. So potty training is going okay. He is into asking me what everything is and he's super into shadows lately and trying to understand like what those are. So that's been really fun to see him experience new things and explore new things. So that's been really fun. Um, we got hit with a huge snowstorm again. Um, this is like the third snowstorm every week. It's always on Mondays in February. And so we got like eight inches of snow maybe. I don't know, it was a lot. Um, I'll show you our backyard so you can try to see how much we got. Um, Anthony did finally plow our driveway last night. So our driveway is looking better, but let me show you, let me get to a good window. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we got a ton of snow. Um, you can't even see the steps of our back patio. Let me show you. So here's our back patio, look. You can't even see like the steps. It just looks like a ramp going down our steps. And then over here, you can see Grayson's lawnmower. Just the tip of it is sticking out now. So <laughs> it's like totally buried. That's how much snow we got. So it is just a winter wonderland out there and it's never gonna melt. Um, it looks really pretty, but it's freezing. Literally below freezing. This morning I woke up and my weather app said it was one degree outside. So it's been super cold. Um, thankfully next weekend it's supposed to get up into the mid 40s. So all of this will melt and it'll rain and it'll be a lot better, but I'm so done with the cold. Let me know down below, are you a winter person or more of a summer person? I am hating this cold weather in the winter. What do you think, Porter? Porter, of course, wants to be held constantly, hence why I'm holding him. 
If I'm waiting for him to outgrow me always holding him, I'm thinking that won't happen until he learns to crawl. So I might have a little bit. Gray didn't crawl until he was almost seven months and Porter just turned five months, so. We have a little bit to go, but um, also I want to talk to you guys because today is the first day of Lent. Um, if you're Catholic, I don't know if other religions do it too, but anyway, yes, we do Lent where we um, give up something. And every year it's different. Usually I do ice cream because I really like ice cream, but this year I thought I would shake it up. And so this year I'm doing candy. Me and Anthony are gonna give up candy. And you just give it up from Ash Wednesday, which is today, until Easter. So it's like 40 days. Um, so it's not too bad, but it is tempting. And to make it even harder on ourselves, we have this candy bowl that I'm going to leave out to tempt us. <laughs> so we have to resist. I ate a ton of candy last night because it was like Fat Tuesday, so you're supposed to like eat it all and have your last hurrah. And um, so yeah, this is what we're giving up is all this candy and it's just going to taunt us and tempt us until Easter. Do you guys do Lent? Um, what are you giving up this year? Let me know down below. Thankfully I can eat ice cream this time because I just did candy. Maybe next year I'll do like cookies. One year Anthony and I gave up french fries. That was really, really hard. So, yeah, I know some people give up like Facebook and social media. That one would be really, really hard for me. I don't know if I could do that one. So, yeah, anyway, I'll just shoot some clips over the course of today. Show you how cute the kids are. And I'll just show you how cute the kids are. What does Blue want for her birthday present? Let's be blue screws to pick it up. Let's play Blue's Clues to figure it out. You guys, Green. he is obsessed Green. with Blue's Clues. Green. I think he's their biggest fan. Green. 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 Our first clue is green. I wonder what Blue wants for her birthday present. Green. That's green. You guys, he just does not Again. sit still. He just walks and walks and walks Again. and runs and jumps. A cake. A cake? No, it's a tank. Right? It's a tank. That's the second clue. Oh, can you turn that off? He loves turning on Daddy's Xbox. Oh. Uh oh. He just ejected the disc. So many things to discover. I've been on a cleaning kick this morning while Porter is napping and Grayson's just following me around. I vacuumed, I swept the floors, I mopped. With the snow and the mud and everything, our house gets so dirty so fast anytime you go outside and come back in. So I feel like every other day I'm sweeping and mopping. My sister has a dog, Dakota, you've seen her multiple times, and she says that dog brings in so much dirt and mess into her house. She's having to clean it sometimes multiple times a day, and I do not envy her. <laughs> I know when my kids get older, they're gonna wanna go outside all the time, and they're gonna bring in messes, but that's not my life right now. I really wanted to get a dog back when this whole pandemic started back in April, May. Um, and everybody said I was crazy, but my siblings were all getting dogs and I wanted a dog too. It didn't work out, we ended up not. And I am so thankful that we did not get a dog because they are so much work. Who is behind the trash can? Ooh, good hiding spot. Always running. Oh, I hear Porter. Should we go get him? Porter's awake. I'll show you guys us waking up Porter because he's, like I've said in previous vlogs, this is the happiest that he um, ever will get is right when he wakes up from his naps. Um, other than that, it's just like a downhill slide <laughs> because he just gets fussy, fussy, fussy until I put him down again. Good morning. Uh, who is that? Good morning. Uh, uh, Hi, he's like, yay, yeah, somebody came and saw me. You came to rescue me. Hi. He's like, what do you got? Uh, yeah, I got the camera. 
Hi. Did you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap? You guys, this is a three to six month um, sleep sack and he is basically grown out of it. He is so darn tall. I'm gonna have to move you up to the next size, you crazy. Um, even though we don't swaddle his arms anymore, I do like to keep my kids in sleep sacks until they turn a year old. Um, just because after a year, it's okay if you have blankets in the crib with them. Um, so, for now, this is his blanket because I don't want to um, risk SIDS or anything. Sorry. This is really hard to do with one hand. Okay, I had to put the camera down because I was not getting anywhere with that. But anyway, yeah, I just put my kids in sleep sacks till one. Um, Gary was actually sad when I stopped putting him in a sleep sack. I know some parents will keep their sleep sacks until like almost two, um, which is definitely a possibility. Um, I heard it keeps kids in their cribs for longer. Um, I just don't feel the need to go that far, so. He's like, who are you talking to, Mom? I'm trying to get you out of your sleep sack. I just realized it's been a while since I put Gray on the potty. Gray, do you need to go pee pee on the potty? Mm, let's try. Okay, we're gonna try to go pee pee on the potty. Come on. Who's that? I'm just talking to the vlog. Who's that? It's the ceiling. Who's that? It's a beam. Okay, come on, let's beam. go pee pee. Beam. A beam, yes. Come on, let's go pee pee. Go, 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 go. False alarm, he didn't have to pee. <laughs> so we're going back to Porter. It's almost nap time anyway, so. Porter wakes up and Grayson goes down, and then Grayson wakes up and Porter goes down. It's just a never ending cycle. But back to this little cutie. <gasps> Peekaboo! Hi! You just hanging out? You guys, he is such a serious baby. Yes, you are. He will not laugh, no matter how much I tickle him. But he'll ha laugh at Big Brother. And this is his new thing. He grabs all of his socks and rips them off and eats them. No, oh, it doesn't eat them, but he chews on them. And then he throws his socks, and then I have to go all around the house trying to find them. He's so funny. He gets the coldest feet when I don't put socks on him. I get really cold feet. I always have to wear socks, so I wonder if he got that from me. Because I don't remember Grayson being like that. Like, Grayson doesn't have any socks on right now because his feet are fine. But Porter always has cold feet. Huh. You gonna try to get that sock? <laughs> are you so cute? He's like, I just want to get these socks. Get them. vacuum the playroom because of course Grayson got goldfish smashed into the rug. I swear I clean this rug all the time and I, I had to put Porter somewhere so I just put him in the bumbo where he's watching me. What do you think Porter? He's not a huge fan of the bumbo. Grayson was not a big fan of the bumbo either when he was little. He's sitting there right now. Were you watching me vacuum? Yeah, you were. Thank you. Both boys woke up from their naps just now and they were both poopy. So I swear my house smells so bad right now. But they are both clean now. And I have vacuumed the playroom. I got this rug, I think, off Wayfair. I just liked how light it was. So, yes, that is good. No more goldfish smashed in there. Grayson is upstairs. I don't know what he's doing. I wanted to show you guys I have dinner cooking. Um, I used to not do the crock pot at all and now I'm on such a crock pot kick that once a week I do at least one crock pot dinner. And so this is my crock pot dinner right now. Um, it's kind of hard to see because of the thing, but I am making a, I guess I could lift this up for a second. I'm making a south, ooh, look at that. It made the camera all foggy. Ah! I'm making a Southwest chicken 
pasta something i forget what it's called these are the best because i just make them while the boys are napping put everything in cook it on high for four hours and then by the time anthony gets home it's all ready to go um usually i just have to shred the chicken which is so tender that i can shred it um after it's been cooking for so long we've been getting all of our recipes off the magical slow cooker website look it up if you're not familiar with it um we like almost all of the recipes on there i think we've done like six or seven of them and so far we've only not liked one of the recipes all the other ones we've loved so definitely go check it out if you like slow cookers they are super easy to do when you have kids because literally all you do is put everything in and it cooks um, I do have an Instant Pot. I need to use my Instant Pot a lot more because I'm sure that would be just as easy as a slow cooker. It just intimidates me. Sorry, it got a little dark. I'm going upstairs and the light's off. Um, it just intimidates me because I've never used it before. Gray wanted me to get something off the bookshelf in the guest room. That's what I'm making for dinner tonight. I try to make at least two to three um, dinners a week. And then the other days we just do like frozen pizza or well in the summer we'll grill we're not really doing that in the winter it's covered in snow right now we do soup um we do leftovers mostly so it just kind of depends with anthony leaving um being gone friday through monday it kind of makes my job easier because when he's gone i don't really cook dinner i just eat fun for myself and make the kids whatever are you all done with the bumbo are you ready to get out Yeah, he said, get me out of this. You're not holding me. So this happened. <sighs> At least he's cleaning it up. Porter's grumpy. Gray, clean up. He's getting distracted. You got a lot more to go, buddy. Also, his new thing is he likes to take all the pillows off the couch and put them on the ground. Yeah.